And meanwhile, the Nigerian Port Authority, NPA, has defended itself against allegations of unremitted amounts of $852 million and 1.8 billion naira from private operators. The NPA's managing director, Mohamed Bello Koko, clarified that these amounts were accumulated fees from private port operators involved in a 2006 concession agreement attributed to flood agreements signed by the federal government in 2006. <laughs> Guaranteed minimum tonnage. It is the agreement signed in 2006 that created that lacuna. And nobody did anything about it until we did something about it. We gave the terminal operator the latitude because at the point of concession, we guaranteed, Nigeria guaranteed, that if we give you this terminal, we are going to meet, for example, 10 million tons of carbon. If, however, the 10 million will not come, Anything below or above 10 by 10 percent, we don't know whatever is due to NPA in terms of I think there is fee or so from that money. So it is the accumulation of that amount from 2006 to 2019 that you can see we are broken down to 500 and something million. And Mohamed Bello Koko emphasized the challenges faced by concessionaires due to the federal government's failure to remove structures from their right of way. Senator Ali Uwadada urged the NPA bus to provide a financial statement and propose solutions for debt resolution. For, for some uh, materials that you will have to tender to us to convince us on the right and needful uh, or needed uh, steps to take so as to pose these uh, issues once and for all. NPS appearance is adjourned to, it's now Senegal, as far as uh, uh, then the date will be communicated eventually. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.